What's up, people? Today, I'll be comparing the 600D and the 700D and which one is the more suitable choice for you. First off, the physical looks. I'll be running through this real quick because it does not affect the usage or the image of the camera. If you're really picky like me, this video will help you make up your mind. From the front, the display button on the 600D is straight and the ISO button on the 700D is slightly slanted. The rubber grip and the camera model both has a slightly different cutting. The pop-up flash has a slight change in the shape at the back of the flash. From the side, the flash are similar. The button for the flash and aperture is rounded on the 600D and it's flatter on the 700D. The strap positions are slightly different. The cover for the external mic port has a slightly wider opening and a slight change in the cover shape. From the front, the menu and info button on the 600D is squarish and on the 700D is roundish. The pop-up flash is slightly curved on the 700D. The rubber grip shapes are different. The zoom in and out button on the 600D is aligned and on the 700D is slightly slanted. The body design is slightly different around the zoom buttons. The button icon on the 600D is around the button and on the 700D is on the button. The small red light at the bottom of the camera is slightly bigger on the 700D. This little part below the hot shoe mount, I have no idea what this is, so if you guys know, let me know. Both LED screens are the same size, although it looks slightly different because of the design. On top of the LED screen on the 600D, there is a little screw. On the 700D, there isn't one. The little lock mechanism on the screen on the 600D is at the middle and on the 700D is at the top. On the top, the mic on the 600D is on the front and on the 700D is at the top. Because of that, the cutting on the 700D is slightly different. On the 700D, the display button is taken off. The dial on the 600D does not turn 360 degrees while the 700D does. The video mode on the 600D is right here and on the 700D, you just need to push the switch to the top. The icon on the 600D is painted on and on the 700D is embossed. You get them textured feels on your fingers. Here is the burst mode on the 700D which takes 5 frames per second and 3.7 frames per second on the 600D. There is also a slight difference in the sound. The 700D offers a touchscreen which is very responsive and on the 600D, there is no touchscreen. But ask yourself, do you really need the touchscreen? 700D has touchscreen focus, the 600D does not. You need to press the focus button or manually focus it. On the 600D, the focus is a bit slow when trying to focus with the focusing button. But what the 600D does have that the 700D doesn't is the 3 to 10 times digital zoom. In the live view option, go to the video format tab and press the left and right button to activate the digital zoom. While recording, the 700D cannot do digital zoom. While on the 600D, if you press the display button along with the zoom button, you will digitally zoom into the image, similar to scaling or cropping your image in post-production. The finishing material on the 700D is slightly rougher, less smooth and less reflective, a little bit like matte. On the 600D, it's not as rough and it's slightly smoother. All this said, there is no difference in image quality. The 700D has a Digic 5 processor which allows it to shoot live autofocus and handle higher ISO, while the 600D has a Digic 4 processor. But do you really need higher ISO? How often do you push your ISO above 1006? I rarely shoot with high ISO, so I don't really need it. The 5 biggest difference on the 700D was that it could shoot 5 frames per second, it has touchscreen, live autofocus, 360 rotating dial, and some minor filters on live mode such as fisheye effect, miniature effect, and black and white. And the only thing that the 600D has that the 700D doesn't is the 3 to 10 times digital zoom. Personally, I don't need 5 frames per second because I shoot video more. I don't need touchscreen because my previous camera did not have touchscreen. I don't need live autofocus because I shoot around my subject more. I'm always moving and taking action shots, so I worry that my focus is always off because it's trying to keep focus on my subject. Unless you're doing product review where you need to get in close to show the products. Do I really need the 360 rotating dial? To me, it's not really much of a big issue. And for the filters, I don't think I'll use any of the filters because the filters look like they're more there for fun, not really there for a serious shot. So in conclusion, get the 700D if you need the 5 frames per second for action or sport photography. If you are very used to your phone touchscreen, if you do a lot of product review, if you hate editing to cut out the part where you're refocusing your shot, if budget isn't a problem, if you care about the latest model for everything, if not having the 360 rotating dial button is an issue, and if not having the extra filter effect on the camera is a big deal. Get the 600D if you don't need the extra features like fisheye effects, miniature effects and all the other stuff. If you're under a tight budget, if you don't care about the latest model for any gadgets, 
if you only care about the image quality and not the features like me, if you normally use manual focus for your video, and if not having the touchscreen is a big deal for you. So there you go guys, those are the main differences between the two cameras. I hope this helped those who are looking into getting one of those two cameras. I ended up with the 600D because I did not need all those extra functions the 700D had to offer. The most important thing for me on a DSLR is the image quality. If this video was helpful, hit that subscribe button! My name is Lucky, see ya!